do you, do you feel that in a way uh, he was violated because it is still not proven that those those were his chats but the way they were shared by the media was 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 something rather unsavory we are talking about the corrupt media that is very happy to throw muck all over the place what they say doesn't make a difference to me but when they talk rubbish about a friend then it is my job to stand up and say hey sharu or hey whoever they are talking about not specifically sharu they are talking their language they don't represent the decent people like me they don't represent the gracious dignified honest educated qualified people like me they don't represent the good they represent the bad do you do you feel that such perception making can be can be really harmful for they, you know <clears throat> no the decent people the dignified people the good people will see a father who wants to do the best for his son there's no argument there you spoke about um, uh, sharukh and uh, even in our last interview we 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 spoke about the success of pathan and, and how things have been and how how you guys started off um now recently i've seen your tweets uh, with regards to these uh, alleged leaked chats that have happened and uh, you you've taken a very strong point of view uh, a lot of people within the industry they have not even said anything whatsoever um why was it important for you um do you, do you feel that in a way uh, he was violated because it is still not proven that those those were his chats but the way they were shared by the media was Was, was something rather unsavory so three points even before i was a teacher or even before i was an educationalist i was never part of the industry i'm a campaign school cathedral school south bombay cuff parade product i used to go shoot make my films and come back to cuff parade to my friend circle i never drank smoked partied with the film industry I have only been to Shah Rukh's house once when we met on his birthday, and all these thirty-five years that I've been. So, in the first place, what the industry does, the industry feels, what the industry has an opinion about, I have no say in that matter. I'm not part of the industry. I'm a filmmaker. I make films, and I go home. I'm not part of the herd. I'm not part of a gang. I don't have a gang of filmy friends with whom I hang out with, etc. so what the film industry does and i don't even believe that there is an industry there is the manufacturing industry which is production there is the distribution industry just like they have in corporate which is the distributors and the exploiters and there is a retail industry which is the cinemas there are three completely separate industries that overlap at some point or the other but as a teacher i know that they are not really uh they are not really complementary they are competitive in most films if the producer makes money the distributor loses if the distributor makes money the exhibitor loses if the exhibitor makes money somebody is losing that's another topic for another conversation so point one what the industry does says god bless them i wish them all the best i love them uh they have never ever helped me in my career i have done what i can by myself without any help. i had to fight to launch sharukh and rajiv and nitin i had to fight to launch ravina and work with salman in patthar uh, kitty i had to fight bitterly to work with gyan sahai and dilip joshi in sarako there was no support so i don't owe the industry anything they owe me sharukh khan for the things let's be very clear about certain things now we come to the second thing media media has the plural word for mediums mediums of communication radio is a medium of communication so radio is media cinema is a medium of communication so cinema is media print social media etc all various forms of media collectively we call it media there are various mediums of communication so we are not talking about media we are talking about people in the media Right. So when we talk about people in the media, there are good people and there are bad people. There are honest people and there are dishonest people. There are corrupt people and there are incorrupt. There are educated people. There are uneducated. 
And this goes for television, this goes for radio, this goes for print, this goes for social media, this goes across the board. So we are not talking about the good people, obviously. We're not talking about the decent, dignified and gracious people. We are talking about the corrupt media that is very happy to throw muck all over the place. One lot of them threw muck by saying, these are the tweets that Shah Rukh allegedly sent to this Mr. Mankari. So my attitude is, when you don't know the facts, when things are alleged, and like in the film, if you're going to answer everything with a question mark, I don't count you as media in the first bloody place. We are talking about people who are opportunistically cashing in on situations so that they can get eyeballs, they can get hits, they can get popularity, they can get certain amount of um, notoriety if it comes to that. And it's not only this time. You will see the amount of people who are on Twitter critiquing films, reviewing films, giving box office numbers. I don't even know who they are. They don't have names. They call themselves filmy this thing and filmy that thing. They don't have credentials. They don't have qualifications. They don't have education. Obviously, when they work under anonymous names, they also don't have grace, dignity, or decency. What they say doesn't make a difference to me. But when they talk rubbish about a friend, then it is my job to stand up and say, hey, Sharu, or hey, whoever they are talking about, not specifically Sharu, they are talking their language. They don't represent the decent people like me. They don't represent the gracious, dignified, honest, educated, qualified people like me. They don't represent the good. They represent the bad. Then it they is represent. our job to point them out. Which I do. I think it's the honest and the decent thing to do. It has nothing to do with shadow person. It's what any honest, upstanding person would do. And I do it. Vicky, you, you, you are a man of media. Uh, you, you, you describe media in detail. Um, do you feel, do you feel um, uh, uh, media in today's day and age, um, maybe it has become more about opinions and, and perception making rather than uh, sharing facts. And in a way, the perception that is being hammered across uh, through these chats is that um, the King Khan is, is literally begging for his son, um, which is something that, that no one would have ever imagined whatsoever. No one has verified that whether it is actually Shah or not. Um, do, you, do you feel that such perception making can be can be really harmful for... They, you know. No. The decent people, the dignified people, the good people, will see a father who wants to do the best for his son. There's no argument there. The naysayers, the frauds, the corrupt people will say, see, see, he thinks he's a king. See, he has to beg also. Any father would beg. I would go ask any father what he would do if his son was in a certain situation. All of them would do possibly what Shah Rukh did, if he did it. And if he did it, God bless him, I stand by it. I stand by any father who wants to protect his son. So if the media, as you rightly said, uh, doesn't have the decency or the dignity to understand this, if everything is about opinions, if everything is about perceptions, if everything is about saying what you like because nothing is provable and you think that you can do it, then go ahead and do it. The wrong people may listen to you. The good people will condemn you. I have condemned it. Now, if other people don't have the courage to condemn, that's between their conscience and their conscience, not between me and them. And this is not even to be very honest between me and Sharon. This is between me and my conscience. This is between me and me. This is Vivek Vaswani who teaches children, who is an example to his students, who has to stand up and teach his students. The best way is the honest way. This is the Vivek Vaswani who has to set an example for all his students who follow him on social media. For all the kids who sit with me and get guided and mentored. So, 
I mean, I haven't even talked to Shah Rukh about this. I haven't talked to Shah Rukh for four years now. I haven't been in communication. It doesn't matter. It was never between Shah Rukh and me. It was between me and me. I don't even think Shah Rukh knows that I have gone through cancer in the last one year. Fair enough. So there are also reports that uh, that Shah Rukh Khan has has uh, decided that he will not be interacting with the media anymore. Uh, he will even even during Gauri Khan's uh, book launch, he did not uh, take any questions from the media. Same same as uh, Pathan a press conference at YRF. Um and he apparently this is this is what is being said that that he will not be doing any media interview as well. Um, a lot of people they they literally relate to Shah Rukh because of uh, his 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 interviews and. The way he talks and the way he interacts. Um, do you do you feel that uh, that this is this is something which was which was um, maybe not needed um, and maybe he has been driven uh, to that that level that he has taken this decision because he's someone who's, who who doesn't um, react emotionally. It must have taken a lot for him to maybe take this decision, if at all, just taking this decision. I have no clue. As I said, I have not been in communication with Shahrukh for the last four years, so I would not know. Uh, if he has taken a stand or made a decision, it's his personal decision. I think all of us should abide by it. He's a self-made man and he's made a certain decision. And if he's not going to talk to the media, then that's his personal decision. Trust me, it will not affect box office or his time. Right. So and that's what between him and him. It's not, I would not be. But if I was in this place, after what the media has been doing, uh, I would not talk to the media either. But that's, again, my personal opinion. 